welcome to Weekly Battle Feed. This week's episode is brought to you by Zane Azrai. Yep. Go. Your dad's been dead for years. Don't you fucking say that, come. <laughs> do you miss him so? De- you miss him so desperately yeah, fuck it, do you? that you have to take out all your anger, all, all your anger on my ethnicity. I say this respectfully. Wait, wait, wait. An unplanned pregnancy. Put your money where your mouth is, King of the Dot announced their first three matchups for the upcoming Massacre 3 event. The first one being Pat Stay versus Big K. Here's a sneak peek of what that match might look like. Round one, fight! Fucking girl! Dark side. The cocksuckers! Dark side. The motherfucker! Fucking loser! Faggot! Here comes a new challenger! Also announced was Arsenal vs. Iron Solomon, a match 10 years in the making so we can finally find out just who exactly has the weirdest weapon. I put a hit on BGs, the ankle survive, it goes ha, 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 but no one's staying alive! Oh, we- ha, 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 Whoopsies, that wasn't my clarinet. <laughs> Also announced was Daylight vs. The King of the Dot debut of Mickey Fax, and Mickey Fax does have somewhat of a mainstream presence. If this battle happened three years ago, Daylight would be pulling his dick out, shitting everywhere, completely taking advantage of that. But the last couple years, his antics have... Fucking cat. Daylight has really toned down his antics in the last few years. I just expect him to bring three solid rounds and... I typically just end up making jokes about people who probably don't deserve it. Organic took to TalkBack to ask fans what seven-man rosters they would create for a hypothetical Goalie vs. Ganic 2 event. Being a survey aimed at battle rap fans, reading comprehension was at an all-time low and people listed less than seven people, more than seven, and some missed the concept entirely. Here's a list of what battlers got the most votes from the fans. And here's a list of battlers that got the most votes from me. Well, most respected. URL announced the full lineup for their Double Impact 2 card, which features a lot of big names as well as the first time team of Charlie Clips and Goods. I'm not quite sure what the budget for an event like this with all these big names would be, but I have a feeling negotiations probably want something like this. Millions of dollars! Millions of dollars! Millions of dollars! Millions of dollars! Millions of viewers! Millions of viewers! Millions of viewers! Millions of viewers! Millions of dollars! Millions of dollars! Millions of dollars! Millions of dollars! And it's interesting that Miles is listed on the flyer as Young Miles, but is narrated as Midwest Miles. But this isn't the first time battlers have gotten weird with their names, right? Remember Verb Von Doom? Or the blackout appearance from just Bragante? Or when URL botched the debut of 50 Tyson? Yeah, yeah. You might see me all blue, all red, every day, every day. I'm 50 Tyson. I'm from Northside Zone, 20 CD Minnesota. That's where I'm from. <laughs> Goods vs. Jeffrey recently went down on this past weekend's I Battle Takeover card. Here's a clip from that battle. I'm sorry, I, I fucked up. That was the wrong clip. Um, here's a clip from that battle. I'm off it. I swing through in a Mercedes coupe. White rapper. Chocolate exterior. Caramel guts like a baby root. Oh my god! No Coast announced that the main event for their upcoming 8th anniversary card will be B Magic vs. E Feral, a match that was booked for earlier this year but never went down. I can only imagine how hard those No Coast guys are going to party if this battle actually takes place. Thank you to everybody who supported Ruin Your Day the last several months. With the growth this channel has seen and 
the energy that's coming from the fans. We want to keep the synergy continuing, and Avocado set up a Patreon page to help fund new content so we can continue providing a consistent, high-quality product to you guys. There are perks for contributors such as hats, koozies, shirts, exclusive content, and the ability to few episodes of the Watch series before they release to the public. There's already been 100 patrons contributing to the channel, and the first glimpse of the funding will come in the form of Reverse Live vs. Geechee Gotti, which was filmed in a private, state-of-the-art atmosphere along with several other battles that are only the first of many adventures into crowd-supported content. So please support Avocado and everything he does for Ruin Your Day and Battle Rap in general. You guys have only got a small glimpse of how hard he works. Um, and with the Ruin Your Day's momentum at an all-time high, I think it's an appropriate time for Weekly Battle Feed to go on a hiatus. For how long, I don't know. Uh, I've spent the last year and a half making fun of people for quitting and then coming back, so I definitely don't want to do that. But for the immediate future, uh, Weekly Battle Feed will not be weekly, nor a battle feed. So thank you to everyone who's tuned in, especially the pre-watch battle fans from last year who supported me and encouraged me back when the show looked like shit. Look at this shit. Look how shitty this looked. I've had a lot of really great friends come on this show, and I've met a lot of really cool people. It's done for me as a battle rapper than battling has, and uh, it was all Avocado's idea. He never censored me or gave me notes. He just let me be free, and I owe everything to him. And there's a lot of battle rap bloggers who just talk into their phone, mainly complaining, um, and then upload it, and that's it. And th granted, they've gotten a lot more viewers and a bigger fan base than I have, but I, this, this sounds kind of gay. I've always kind of prioritized being different o over being the best. This show has a script, it, it, it has a storyboard process, it has an editing process, and I never wanted to be negative. I never tried to be negative. Negativity is easy. Complaining is easy. At the end of the day, I just wanted to make you guys laugh. I'm still going to be a part of Ruin Your Day, be it battling behind the scenes, battle topics, whatever I'm needed for. And this show may very well come back down the road. But for the time being, thank you everyone for being awesome. Check out old episodes if you haven't. Uh, even if you didn't like the show, thank you for watching it to know you didn't like it. Support Ruin Your Day, and long live Cadillac Ron. You already know who it is! Silent talk, silent talk, silent talk. Go and do it for me. Now watch me whip, kill it. Now watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip. Whip, watch me nay nay. Why me do it? Now watch me whip, kill it. Watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip, watch me nay nay. Can you 